All right, I'm revising. I thought about uh, the uh, crossing, the links where I go from the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. I thought about that. I don't, I don't really want to do that. I want to make it look right. It will work the other way. The only thing I don't like about that idea is that the axle is going to twist so much. And if I try and put the bags on the axle, it's going to twist the bag. I don't want it to do that. So now I've got a completely new plan. It's gonna be a regular uh, four link. So, in order to get my pinion angle right, I went ahead and I cut that cross member so that the drive shaft can come up into it. The, uh, this new cross member here will serve as double support for what cross member is not there anymore. If you look at here, I've got the uh, frame is at zero. Let's go ahead and put this on here. And that's almost at zero for the drive shaft. And then we'll put it over here on the pinion so you guys can see what's going on there. And the pinion is at one or, ne or negative one. What? I guess you could stay with me. You don't want to go help mommy and get some food? Yeah, you're going to go with mommy? Yes. Okay. Let's make her feel guilty. <laughs> All right, but now you see I've got the pinion angle set just right. And that is basically laid out. Okay, I still have to cut the cross member. Ooh, see the sky? All right. See how there's a gap? The transmission cross member has to come out and some other modifications have to be done in order for this to truly lay. But to compensate for that, I've put spacers underneath the tires so that I can compensate for where it's going to lay. See how I did that? So now I just need to go ahead and cut my link bars. I've measured them out. They're going to be 30 inches at the top and 30 inches at the bottom. I'll set the, uh, the top ones to here out to the bars and then uh, to the bottom here uh, I'll get to that later but anyway yes that's that's what I'm gonna do so now I'm gonna go ahead and make my link bars so I can get those ready all right remember the bars that I found behind that warehouse uh, it's old pipe I'm gonna cut it I measured from there to there you got to measure from the center point to center point across deduct how much that is so that you're cutting just from here to here so mine is going to be 28 inches it's inch to center on those so those are two inch and uh, that's where my mark is now I got to cut four of these bars at 28 inches I'm making them at the exact same length because I want this the pumpkin and everything to articulate the exact same way from up and down so it'll stay right where it's at all the way up and all the way down now when I go to weld it on I'm gonna raise it up to what to ride height and then I'll weld it on that way some of you guys are thinking no 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 you can't do it like that no I'm gonna raise it up and then I'll put it on but I still got a few more things to make so let's make the link bars first oh and if uh, some of you are wondering I am wearing my safety thing that way I don't get anything in my eyes there all right, so you guys can see how I'm doing this. What I do is I measure my 28 inches and I draw a line and then I turn it a quarter of an inch, measure it, draw a little line, turn it, measure it, draw a little line, and I keep doing that all the way around until I have a nice circle all the way around it. And then what I do is I hold my angle grinder in one spot and I turn the pole. That way I can make a nice even run all the way around the pole. And there we go. I got four poles almost about dead on to each other. I mean, there's like hair's difference. And that's what I, I'm going to do. Oh, and then some of you are asking about the rims. See, I still have the compound on there. I haven't sanded it down very, very much. I've got some more scabs and stuff. But that's why I can't keep those rims chrome. But anyway... Now I gotta line up my uh, my link ends and weld them on. Um, I'm gonna leave mine 
with a gap normally you end up like beveling it out or whatever or like get like digging into it a little bit but I'm gonna leave that gap there Ooh, right there I'm gonna leave that gap there so that I can fill it in with a weld and that'll help to make it stronger since my welder it it doesn't dig all the way into this so that's how I'm gonna do it then I come in here and use my new toy and clean off the ends see the little wire brush there that's my new toy I got it for 30 bucks at a pawn shop anyway so now I got my ends cleaned and now I can go outside and weld them up together all right here I am I'm welding them up I've got one done and my welds look pretty good on this one I slowed it down to uh, three and a half and I'm just taking my time on these welds letting it dig in a little bit uh, what I figured out on these is that the bar is about a millimeter to uh, about a millimeter smaller than the actual link end. So I put a little stick right there just to hold it up so that it's level with it. And then I set it there. I put this pipe on the back side to hold it strong. And then uh, put my ground on that end. And then I weld up this one side and turn it and weld it up and turn it and weld it up and turn it. And that's how I'm getting these done. So I've got three more to do. I got one link bar done. There's the, uh, my welds. I think they look pretty good. And the way I'm doing it is I have it set up right here. Ta-da! Butt that right up against it. Put that pole there to hold it. And then ground it. And then turn it and turn it and turn it. And there it is, four link bars, homemade, except for the link ends. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, uh, Metalworks, I'll put a link in the bottom, is uh, where I buy a lot of my, uh, my air ride, my bags, the link ends, because uh, I just didn't want to have to make them. And it, and they come with all of the bushings and everything. You can order them straight from them. You can go to their website and uh, find their phone number. And uh, they'll hook you up. They do a lot of different parts. Uh, so uh, that's where I get mine from. Uh, that's it. I'm going to go and clean these up. Paint them. Put the bushings in them. And uh, get them finished up so that they're ready to put on the truck. Then i got to start on making my... Uh, my link in tab mounts the pieces that are look like this and they weld on and then you put a bolt through them yeah almost done this is the last one that's the last bit of paint i'm gonna strip off of that i'm using my new toy to strip all that off of there there's the other three link bars already painted up ready to go so i'll do one more shot of these when i get done and there we go got them all sanded down hit them up with some uh primer black I don't really want them to shine too much. Maybe I maybe I might do a, a gloss over the top of that, but I'm not really sure. I like it being looking like that. So anyway, back in my little shop. Um, go make yourself some link bars. And they're that simple. Really simple. So uh, please subscribe. Somewhere where it says subscribe. Uh, click that thumb up button if you like what I'm doing. If you don't like, then click it down. I don't really care. <laughs> hey, one way or the other. And uh, leave comments at the bottom. Thank you for watching. Uh, Got to do something next now. And that will probably be the uh, tab mounts is what I'm making next. That's going to be a quick video. And then I'll start welding all this stuff onto the truck. Thank you again. See you next time.